I wish you wouldn't do that. Do what? That rocking. Oh, I didn't realise I was, sorry. It's not normal. Actually, I think you'll find it perfectly normal. For whom? Praying mantises? Speak for yourself. I find it rather comforting. Sap. Oh yes, please, I'm parched. No, you're a... Oh, never mind. By the way, have you booked the registry office yet? Uh, no, but it is on my list. Oh, come on, Derek. We've been engaged for nearly four years now. What's the rush? Well, for one thing, I'm getting rather frustrated. You know my views on that. Oh, come on, it's 2020, not 1820. It's a sin. Everyone else is doing it. I'm sorry, but I'm saving myself for marriage. Well, book the damn registry office then. I have found a caterer. What? I've got a caterer. Supplies massive wedding breakfasts at a fantastic rate. I'm more interested in the dessert. You'll need a full stomach. Planning a marathon session, eh? I just don't want you getting hungry during the proceedings, that's all. Derek, you romantic fool. Better safe than sorry. I also thought I might wear a hood. A hoodie? For our wedding? No, a hood to wear over my head. Whatever for? I figure if you can't see it, you won't want it. Want what? My head. <laughs> Do you like a bit of head? I thought you did too. Yes, my head on my shoulders. I've told you, I won't act on any urges. <laughs> well, specifically not that urge. You don't know if you can resist, hence the hood. You certainly know how to resist. It's been months, Derek. Don't you find me attractive? Of course I do. I'm just very good at abstinence. Anyone would think you don't want to get married. It's a big step. Not for two mantises in love, it's not. Roger says. Don't listen to that cockroach. Please don't speak about my closest relative like that. I'm sorry. It's just he gives me the creep. He's very clean, you know. Showers twice a day. Don't you believe everything you read on the internet? Trailer park trash. Roger says that once a bloke gets married, his life is over. Is that why he has so many illegitimate children? Roger says it's better to be single and carefree than married and happy. Dead. I like my life. I don't want it to end straight after the ceremony. Wouldn't we wait for the guests to leave? Or are we doing it on the altar? It's not funny. It is a bit. I bet you wouldn't find it funny if you had a one in four chance of having your head bitten off during the copulation. Oh, you make it sound so romantic. Us blokes are under a lot of pressure. One wrong move. Well, make sure you get it right then. RTFM and all that. RTFM? Read the fucking manual. Get it? A manual for... Yes, yes, I get it. Oh, lighten up, Derek. No, I love you, right? Yes, I suppose. <laughs> My lovely handsome mentor. Oh, shush. Such a beautiful bulbous head and such sexy thin shoulders. Stop looking at me like that. Like what? Like I am a giant cream cake. Mm. Just to be close to you. Oh, don't be all defensive. I can't help it. When you look at me like that, my lizard brain kicks in. We don't have lizard brains. We're insects. It's instinct. That's what I'm saying. Well, as is the sexual cannibalism. So perhaps you could cut me some slack. Well, I have been practising the mounting part. With whom? Roger. He's probably expert by now. Oh, by myself. Derek. On the sofa. You've been mounting our sofa. Just to make sure I get it right. Can't be too careful. Jesus. One wrong foot and... If you keep putting your feet on the sofa, I will bite your bloody head off. Now what are you doing? Praying. To Typhonus. God of incest. God of incest? Insects. Insects? God of insects? That's grammatically incorrect. Surely. Insects. Bugs. Fantasies. Ants. Flies. Weevils. Oh, that makes sense. Dear Typhonus. Help me to keep my head when all around are losing theirs. Mm. Rest in peace, Marty, Colin, Harold, Toby, Philip, Simon, John, William, Brad, and Chris. Help me to achieve the perfect mounting as if my life depended on it. It probably does. <laughs> Please make sure that no one else is watching. Oh, I rather like that. More males die during observed matings. How does anyone know that? Isn't it like a Schrodinger's mantis situation? Does a male mantis die if no one's watching?
Oh, calm down, Derek. I'm only joshing. Lord, help me to survive all future cardinal encounters with my beloved Maureen. Amen. Sorted. Hop on, big boy!